Watch me go, go. Never slow, slow. Make them roll, roll. Watch me go, go, go. Watch me go, go. What's up, guys? E Drift here. Been a minute since we did a video. Uh, thank you so much for all the love and support on my uh, MST RMX 2.5 videos. That car is feeling amazing. It feels really good compared to where I started with it. We've put a, a, a decent amount of upgrades into it and got it pretty much where I want it to be. And it came to a, a huge fork in the road. And I had to I had to really think about, do I want to go ahead and, and open up a whole can of worms and, you know, go with swapping out the motor and the ESC and, you know, enabling turbo and boost for this car? You know, is the stock gearing going to hold up? Am I going to have to end up, you know, switching out the gearing and get a different gearbox? So all those things pretty much led me to, okay, the car's feeling great. You know, let's let's just kind of leave that alone. Let's let's keep the stock motor and ESC on it. There's nothing wrong with it. It, it runs great. It feels great on the track. However, I did want to be able to run, you know, turbo and boost. So that's where the crossroad came, and I decided to pick up a new drift chassis, the MD, the Yokomo Master Drift 1.0 Limited Edition Purple. That's right, guys. This is my second new drift chassis. That we're going to be utilizing and running on the track and uh, we're going to show you how how we built this chassis up show you all of my uh, experience in this this is my first ever rc drift car build never built an rc car from the ground up so this was really exciting and uh, i can't wait to share that experience with you and uh yeah i'm really happy with the way this turned out and i was looking for a chassis something that i wasn't going to have to put you know a whole bunch of money into it you know, after the fact, I wanted something I could pretty much buy out of the box, ready to go and, you know, spend a little bit more up front, but then not have to upgrade it uh, along the road. And I think this one's going to be exactly what we need. I don't see myself putting a ton of more upgrades on this car. going to, you know, pretty much be running this as it is. And we're going to utilize the turbo and the boost on this. So, yeah, I thought it would be a great idea to have two chassis for, for my drifting uh, experience. I've got you know my non-boost non-turbo chassis and i'm going to have my boost and turbo chassis so two chassis to be able to run out here do my drifting with i think that's going to be the way to go and uh yeah it wasn't cheap but i'm really happy with everything the parts are really premium and can't wait to share everything in my experience along with building this chassis start off by saying that the included Yokomo instructions were very helpful, very detailed, and definitely you're going to want to make sure that you pay close attention and uh, do a good job when going through the uh, instructions, paying attention, especially with the uh, 1.0 supplement um, sheets here. We actually have some supplements that were included that have newer versions of some of the instructions. Starting out with the uh, diff here, we're going to be using the included 5,000 weight oil. And basically, you just fill this um, just about to the top, leaving just a little bit of a gap, like so. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you give this time to rest as well, uh, because some may soak in and give you a better uh, idea of how much fluid you have. When you go to tighten it back up, you're going to do it in a star pattern, like the instructions say. Go ahead and tighten this back up snug and then uh, that part's pretty much done so taking a look the only difference that i'm doing uh, for this build is changing these screws uh, to these t-work screws they're going to be the gold screws i really like the gold and the purple um, everything else is going to be out of the box settings out of the box build we're going to use all the settings of in the instructions 
And building the gearbox here was really fun. It, I really enjoyed this part of the build. Everything went together smoothly. All the bearings and everything just really went together really well. So getting this put together really is a huge accomplishment once you get this gearbox done. It's a big part of the build. Um, I think it's one of the more fun parts for me it was to get all this together. But you can see here it looks fantastic the way everything goes together. And as you start to build this out, the engineering on this frame, I really do like it. It just has a ton of movement uh, built in incorporated with the way the arms connect to the to the gearbox here in the back. Everything's just been very well thought out. The parts go together extremely well and it really does show as you're building this. Now putting together here we have the rear uh, hub carriers here and they are plastic. That's one thing that may end up upgrading in the future but they're still of decent quality and um, you see everything just really working together and moves really nicely. Now we have the uh, little top uh, little brace plate here on the top and this is going to give you a little bit more room to mount your body posts and uh, maybe some additional accessories for your electronics as well but you can just see how much thought went into this build when designing this I really do like the way this all goes together now we're going to go ahead and get ready to install the uh, steering rack here I really do like the steering rack with the ball bearings really really nice design and it seems to move very smoothly and freely however this is going to take some adjustment um, as it gets broken in you'll need to tighten up those bearings and there is a little bit of a space to readjust the bearing to tighten it up a little bit if needed here you can see we're working on the servo uh, mount here as well as the uh, part of the front plate for the front bottom chassis plate here and we've got the arms installed as well and they've got plenty of movement everything moves very freely once you have it connected into place and then we're going to start to build up the front shock tower as well i love all the anodized aluminum parts that come with this build really just has a very premium feel to it just feels fantastic when everything goes together and you can see here we've got the, the settings. We use our calipers to make sure that the settings are what the supplement manual recommended. So we're gonna use the out of the box settings for this, but then we'll be probably making some changes later on. Now's the first time we actually get the, the main chassis plate here. And we go ahead and install the battery tray. And then we go ahead and install the rear uh, arms and the rear shock tower and gearbox assembly with the included screws you see it coming together very nicely now then we go ahead and add the front as well and then we're going to attach the uh, the longer brackets here that are going to stiffen up the frame a little bit more and just very well designed I really love how everything went together on this frame just pay close attention to the instructions make sure you just follow it to a T to make sure you build everything correctly. Now it's time to go ahead and build the shock, uh, shock the shocks as well. And we're gonna be using the included oil for the shock and everything's gonna be, you know, out of the box. We're not gonna do any changes on the, on the shocks out of the box for now. And we're using the number 50 weight shock oil included. Just to go ahead and build this out. But once you have them all built, you can see there's two different types of springs. Um, make sure that you use the springs in the proper orientation. The larger gap springs go in the front, while the tighter coil shocks go in the rear. And man, I just love that purple and gold. It really does just have a nice pop with good look to it. And this is what the frame looks like all assembled. And stay tuned because in the next video, we're going to be installing the electronics for this chassis and we're going to be going with the Yokomo RPX2 ESC as well as the DX1 Type R 10.5 turn brushless motor utilizing turbo and the boost as well as the Yokomo servo and gyro. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please, please like, share, subscribe. 
Links will be down in the video description for everything. And as always, there's going to be more videos to come on the Yokomo Master Drift 1.0 Limited Edition Purple. You're going to be able to share my experience with that on the track. You're going to be able to see uh, how exactly we uh, we get it all dialed in and get used to running the turbo and the boost. So I can't wait to share those experiences with you as well. Make sure you check out my other videos. Uh, I've got the MST videos and I've got the 10 scale garage videos. Lots of more content to come, so make sure you're subscribed. Click that bell icon so you get notified first when I put out new content. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. E-Drift, out. Yeah.